Reality TV horror is something I can never really understand. The idea that people will go into abandoned places, try and find ghosts, and in general, I guess, pretend to be spooked. But people still do it, and people still enjoy it. And we see an abundance of horror games that actually try and emulate the feeling. One such game that we're going to play today is Paranormal Records, where we are effectively the host of a TV station who decided he wanted to boost his ratings and went to an abandoned psychiatric hospital. Surely nothing could go wrong, but I guess we're going to find out. So welcome to Paranormal Records, and here we go. Man's really baiting me in with the promise of a girl praising me, goddamn. Okay, so yeah, welcome everybody to Paranormal Records, a game where we were stupid enough to go into an abandoned psychiatric hospital. This window should be good for the opening. I just wait. The game actually. Oh my god, the controls are really like crazy, so I need to fix these. One second. Never mind, we don't have control options, which is fun. So, right, yeah, I guess we've got to do. I am Ivan Lightov, and today I am in. Okay. We're uh, trying to produce a show, I guess. Hello again, товарищи. I am Ivan Lightov, and today we are visiting another wonderfully gloomy place in beautiful Oregon, the Saint Thomas Asylum. These walls have witnessed an imaginable suffering. Yes, I bet they have. To be discovered here. Tonight, I will stay here on my own, lock it up and alone. So, how about it? Is everyone ready? Then it's lights off, fear on! Okay. So I guess we just have to explore and take a look around. And inevitably get spooked by, uh... Oh, hello there. Looks like tonight it's going to be just you and me patrolling these halls, my father, tovarish. Do you Wait, mind if sir. I take a look around? Thank you. Oh, okay, there's a pigeon up there. I just didn't even notice him. Okay. We have a metal pipe. Shame we can't take that for self-defense. Bonk the shit out of the spooky ghosts. I'm not sure if this game is actually, like, just running badly or if it's meant to look like this. But it feels like it's only running at like 20 FPS. I'm just kind of curious to see if it's just got optimization issues or if uh, my computer's just terrible. All right, we got some stuff in the <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> that good Dan Crow almost killed me. Damn. <laughs> you cinephob. Get out. Nahui. Okay. <sighs> No, I don't like that. There's nothing in here to interact with, so I guess we're just wandering around. No actual spooky ghosts in the uh, vicinity, at least not yet. But yeah, I, I don't know, I think it's purposely designed to, um... I guess, look. Did you see that? Did you see? The door has opened, all by itself. Let's investigate. This is a terrible idea. Nobody here, but we might find something that could lead us to the ghosts in here. This is a terrible idea. But yeah, I think it's intentionally designed to look like really uh, grimy and not that uh, high fidelity camera. Like uh, literally a, a, a friendly little found footage. Be one of those hospitals. The ones that, uh, you know... Abuse their patients. Blah. Maybe. I read about this one guy in Arizona. He was a nurse and a rapist. That was just... Pizdiez. Oh god, okay. Poor, unfortunate souls. Doesn't look like we got anything here. Well, that's enough investigating. Let's get out. Oh, wait. What the... Товарищи, do you see this too? 
Блядь, и здесь и warning? It looks like a warning to me. I hope it's not a warning for me, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is, man. Ну и халтура, Джон. Превзошел сам себя. Ага. How do we get rid of this UV flashlight? I don't think we can. Fucking hell, okay. It won't budge. I sure could use a good Soviet primer right now. Play it your bets now, товарищи. Will I find one here or not? Very likely not. Well, the ghost said go away, so let's do just that. Let's just go away. Would be a great idea, wouldn't it? Um. I guess we should go listen to what that knocking was. Much that I don't want to. Okay. Came from here, I think, right? No? Not here either. Bird is still chilling. Is there anything else in here we need to find? Probably not, right? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay. That's not me messing with that door, I don't think. Okay, I guess we just leave then, maybe. Or we have to find a crowbar. Maybe that's what we gotta do. Oh wait, maybe the pipe. Ah, here we go, yeah. But it will do. This is a terrible idea. As you might have noticed, товарищи, the Saint Thomas Asylum is in a somewhat sorry state. It was shut down in 1988 in the wake of a corruption scandal. Chief medical officer Isaac Goldman and his underlings were fencing drugs and pharmaceuticals, stuffing their pockets with ill-gotten dollars. Eventually, the entire St. Thomas staff was under investigation. So the patients were transferred to other facilities. St. Thomas was temporarily shattered, but... As they say back in the motherland, нет ничего более постоянного, чем временное. Да. Okay. Well, can we uh, move or not? I really don't think this is a good idea, honestly. I don't know, breaking into an asylum just doesn't seem it, Chief. It really doesn't. This is a terrible idea. And we got another thing in here. Oh, this appears to be the lounge zone. <laughs> but I seen Kyle pass. Ah, junkies. Хотел же берца надеть. Okay, and we got like first aid kits, files, bunch of stuff here. This is Suka. fuck me, man. Okay, I'll. What's that? I don't like this. Mm. 
we really should just leave. But of course, we're a stupid horror protagonist, so it's not gonna happen. Hi. Hello. Just checking up on you. I'm just getting started. And I already wish I brought a hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. This place looks like you can get hepatitis if you just stare at the walls long enough. Oh god. That bad. That's what I was telling myself two hours ago. Are you sure you can make it through the night? John made sure that I will stay here all night. He locked me in. So yeah, that's how that is. Oh, how thoughtful of him. <laughs> sure is. Hey, uh, are you home tonight? Um, no. I'm actually going out with Megan. Megan? I thought you don't talk to her anymore. So did I, but here I am. Um, look, I really gotta go now. Got it. Have fun. Something tells me it's uh, John and Rachel meeting up. Love. Yeah. Doesn't seem like they're uh, on good terms either. It's so gloomy in here. Well, товарищи, now is the time to tell you why I came to this asylum of all places. You see, over the last 30 years, people have been disappearing in this hospital. Uh, of course, them. of course they have. Hundreds. Official reports will not tell you anything about that, because most of those people were hobos and junkies. But locals say that St. Thomas Hospital has consumed them. Tonight, I will tell you three stories that are, unlike many others, independently verified and made a lot of noise in Aragon back in the day. There are three places in this asylum that play a major role in those stories, and I will visit them all. Okay. I will try to contact the spirits of the missing people in those locations. I don't know if I can do it, товарищи. But I have a good feeling about this. So pretty much, uh, is this what it's gonna be? It's gonna be like... We're viewing... The stories through this guy's perspective, I guess. It's like a door here we can activate or we can mess with. Oh, this word is special. Do not worry, товарищи. We will take a closer look at it. But not right now. Sounds good. Keep out. I very much will. Let's uh, head in here instead, shall we? It happened in the summer of 96 in a small town not far from here. Called Greywood. Two twins, Stan and Max, went out for a walk one Sunday morning. Perfectly normal for two ten-year-old boys. But they never came back. Of the course not. The town went out to look for them. They were looking for weeks, combing the area inch by inch. But they never found anything. Until one day, a girl came to the mother of two missing boys. Girl's name was Lisa. She was their neighbor. In tears, the girl told the mother that the boys haunt her dreams every night. She said that the boys are scared and they want to go home, but they can't find their way out of the abandoned St. Thomas Asylum. Right. The came to this cursed place, and in this very spot they found a cap that belonged to one of the missing boys. Today, I will look for clues that could help me uncover the mystery of twins' disappearance. We have a thermal visor too. Jesus Christ, this man is actually stacked. Oh, what's this? Look, товарищи, look, this teddy bear. It's warm. And, just so we're clear, it is currently the 10th of November. Right. It, it might be. I don't know for sure, but let's try talking to it anyway. This is a terrible idea. Actually awful idea. Stan! Max! Hello to you both! 
My name is Ivan. I came to talk to you. If you hear me, say something back. Stan and Max. Uh oh. Oh, and that's it? Damn, okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> All right, guys, I guess that was it. That was the Paranormal Records uh, demo. And pretty much, as I said, the game, the game looks interesting. I'm not sure if the camera perspective angle and how it moves is like... So if the game is actually just unoptimized or if the entire thing is the camera is supposed to look like that because it's like supposed to be a janky found footage kind of thing. I have no idea, but uh, this game is made solely by one person. And from what I've seen so far, pretty impressive. I actually really like what they've done with it. And uh, unfortunately, I guess we didn't get to see any ghosts, but the atmosphere was set really well. Whoever the uh, main character is, Ivan, actually has some really good uh, dialogue and... It kind of really adds to the feel of the game of just like one scared dude in an asylum, though it's his own fault for being there, I guess. Either way, I actually really enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. If you do, of course, make sure to drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the game below in the description. And yeah, we'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have a good one. Look, товарищи, look! The steady beer is warm and just so very clear. It is currently the 10th of November. Could this be a spirit? It might be. I don't know for sure, but let's try talking to it anyway.